नमस्ते एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज सावनी शेटी एंड आई एम टेकिंग यू ऑन अ टूर ऑफ डिफरेंट प्लेसेस इन गोवा वेर वी शो यू द ट्रू हिस्ट्री द रियल कल्चरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ गोवा सो टुडे आई एम इन अ विलेज कॉल मोरजी दिस इज फेमस फॉर इट्स बीच साइड और द सी साइड बट आई बट आई एम विजिटिंग द यूनिक प्लेस और द मेन प्लेस इन द मोरजी टाउन दैट इज द टेम्पल ऑफ मोरजाई हु इज द पेट्रन गॉडेस ऑफ दिस विलेज so we are now standing at the main gate of which used to be the main prakar wall like the compound wall of the temple and any in the olden times people would enter supposedly from here and this is the main uh, gate and here this is used also for a stage and on top of this is nagar khana which is something it's a place for uh, playing musical instruments for the temple so in the olden days uh, which is still done in many temples there are specific timings uh, maybe in the mornings or during the arti time where different musical instruments are played in a service uh, or in a devotion to the god or the goddess so this is that nagar khana where we are standing now so as you can guess by the name morjai means like morji ji ai the mother of morji or the mother of the people of morji so which is dedicated to the mother goddess morjai so when we look at ancient culture in goa uh, the folk people our ancestors worship nature as the patron gods or the goddesses so it is because they had the concept of gratitude when they must have started settling down practicing agriculture they understood that we are here because of the earth or because of the water or because of the rain or because of the trees so it's like uh, the concept we see commonly in all uh, you know like all the streams of hinduism where the earth is worshiped as the main uh, you know like a life force uh, we later see this concept evolving into the concept of jagat janani or adi janani and the mother goddess shakti where she is worshiped as the shakti or the energy in the all life forces this concept we see in the initial days as concept of worshiping the mother goddess in the form of sateri or bhumika so uh, at the temple of morjai uh, the unique and the rich cultural history of goa we can experience we can know about it that is the seven sisters and one brother uh, this brings me uh, to the fact that you know like seven the concept of seven mothers or seven sisters is something that we find in many ancient cultures right from greek to indian uh, you know uh, ancient culture there is a concept of saptamatrika Uh, that we see during the uh, pur in the puranas we see concept of seven sisters of the kartikas so they are the uh, seven stars they are also known as kritika nakshatra or the they are kartikas or like the seven uh, they are seven stars also known as seven sisters so this concept of seven mothers or sati asra in maharashtra is very much dominant in the maharashtra's folk culture so in goa we have the seven sisters and they have one brother which is khetoba so seven sisters are lairai murzai uh, mahamaya then uh, kerbai shitlai ajdeepa and last one is mirabai who was later converted as milagres during the portuguese inquisition so morzai is the patron goddess for the villagers of morji everybody looks up uh, looks up to her as their mother since this is one of the most important folk temples or the uh, temple that shows rich history about the folk culture of goa the temple's antiquity goes long back but of course with time the architecture of the temple has changed and developed so current temple architecture the premises you can see a lot of modern additions like the in the premises but they have also retains retained its uh, medieval or the maratha period architecture you can see a beautiful nagar khana at the entrance which has architecture in laterite stone and laterite carvings which was meant for uh, keeping the musical instruments as you enter the temple there is a big hall and then there is this uh, kind of sopas with old style of mosaic architecture so this temple was once upon a time adorned with beautiful kavi art kavi art as most of you know 
it is the unique art style practiced in the konkan region so kavi art derives its uh, materials from nature that is red mud and lime which is taken from shells okay so uh, using this monochrome of white and red beautiful designs are etched out they are not painted okay but with time since they had to be renovated or restored instead of white washing completely what this temple committee has done is repainted over the same old designs so this helps us to see the old look or what the old designs must have looked like you can see here if you touch you can see this you know like some sort of a depth between uh, the red and the white so these were the old uh, kavi which has been repainted okay and at some places where they have added a new hall or a new uh, architecture to retain the continuity of kavi they have uh, done kavi style but not in kavi uh, etching but uh, using the same kavi motifs in asian paint or the red colored you know normal paints so at least uh, what we can say is the committee has taken lot of efforts to re to, to retain and protect the, its the original art style that was here so the initial wall was done with lime or the chuna as we call it and then it was the red mud was filled in and the borders were etched out using anything in steel so you can see here the layer that is repainted on top and below that uh, you can see the original layer so what they have done is to protect and you know preserve the uh, same designs they are repainted but with time the upper layer has fallen off and you can still see the old uh, designs so people of pedne especially morji harmal parshe this side were master craftsmen these areas were known for their crafts work okay, especially in wood and in masonry so you can see a lot of you know uh, the style of woodwork old style of woodwork still being protected and you know uh, kept in a very nice way in this temple so if you visit morji you please make a visit to this morzai temple and appreciate the old style of govanath